Hi, and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today, I wanna to do an acrylic pouring, the tree ring uh, technique, only instead of doing one big ring, with this particular um, piece, we're gonna do little small rings. So let's get set up and get started. I've got a lot of colors here that I wanna to use today. This is kind of a cream, actually. I think it was called buttermilk. I've got a gold, a light blue, this red, brown. Uh, this is, I think it was called terracotta, kind of an orange, and then another blue. I've made me a little uh, cheat sheet of what orders I, which colors I wanna put where for the, the little rings. I've also got my white, and these are really nifty. I got these little uh, these little cups at, at our Smart and Final, and they kind they don't come with, but you can buy little lids like so. That way, paint that you uh, use all the time, you can keep it mixed up with your your additive and have it ready and and save it in this little container. That way, you don't waste any paint. These are pretty nifty and it fits on there very, very tightly. I can tell you that. I thought I wasn't gonna get it on and I thought, oops. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you, I went ahead and mixed these up because that was a, you know, you don't wanna watch me do that. Okay, I wanted to show you the consistency though. See, I want this to just drip off of there like that. I did about a one-to-one -one paint to my Floetrol. And I don't know why, well, I do know why, but I don't really know the technical way to explain it, but some paints are heavier. You see, this one flows fairly good. It could probably use a dab more. This red, however, it just wants to drip. So we're definitely gonna add a little bit more of the Floetrol to it. My Cricut friend is still here. I've tried so hard to find that, ah, that little dude, but, he keeps evading me, so I apologize. Now, now we've got a pretty good little stream there. And let's check the others. I think that that was the only one I really wanted to, let's see, we got a little blob there. So I'm gonna add just a little more because we don't want any blobs. We want this to continue to flow once we start our pouring. There we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, because I, I don't, we may have the negative space going on here. So let me see where I can put my paints out of the way. I'm, go, I'm gonna paint the background white, uh, just because, like I said, if we have some negative space, uh, I don't want it to just be the bare canvas. So I'm gonna put some white on. Let me make sure I stir this a little more. Or stir it, I shook it, but I wanna stir it. I wanna make sure it's blended very well. And sadly, I ran out of my little sponges or I've hid them from myself. Either could be the case. But I'm just gonna take this little trowel and smooth my, my white over my surface here. So the first thing, let's see, I wanted a yellow and an orange, which this is my, not really orange, but I wanted this ter terracotta-ish color. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use these cups simply because they are more flexible and I want that flexibility when I start to pour my small rings. Uh, so now what I wanna do is I'm going to Do a little layering here. And what I have found to, that works, you know, pretty good on your um, layers is to start the pouring. Don't just dump it straight in. If you let it hit the side of the cup, your layer will, oops, will stay, stay more in place. And that's what I, I want it to do. 
Now, obviously that first little jump there, we didn't need to. Just gonna continue here. Now these are gonna be smaller, small rings. So I don't need, um, you know, don't need a huge, huge amount of paint because we're gonna do multiple, multiple little rings. I'm gonna set, I'd like to set these somewhere, but put them there. So while I don't really have a spout, but we're gonna kind of sort of makeshift a little bit of a spout right here. I'm gonna start pouring just like we did on the other ring pour. I want to keep a, you wanna keep a continuous flow once it starts coming out, don't let that stop. And then we're just gonna go like this. Keep a little tiny circular motion And keep it as close to the center. You know, you still want to keep doing your circular motion, but keep it as close to the center. And then you don't want, oop, but we got one anyway, just a tiny little drip, but that is okay. All right, now I want to do my reddish brown. And I'm doing the same exact thing. Just going to continue to layer, layer. Again, any paint that's left in these little cups, I've got my additive in there and I put a lid on it and save it for future use. Okay, I think we'll go up in this corner now. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Once it starts coming out, keep your, oops, it was coming out a little faster than I wanted, but there we go. Tiny little, little motion there and keep it right in the center as much as possible. Make a tiny little circular motion. I don't have the steadiest hands in the world, so if you're thinking, oh, well, she doesn't keep it in the center, that's just because I don't have the steadiest hands. But we're still getting a really awesome, really pretty ringed effect here. Okay, then I wanted to, where's my little cheat sheet? Uh, I was gonna do orange and white, but uh, I'm, I'm going to say, let's do, I'm gonna do um, the gold. Now gold, to get the rings, you're gonna have to have a second color. So I'm going to use the gold and add white in it. But I want my predominant you know, color is gonna be the gold. So we'll start with gold and we'll come in with our white. Some more gold. And some more white. And I think that's about the end of the line for that white one. Okay, so let me set that out of the way. I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna go with this corner. Tiny circular motions. Okay. 
keep it in the center. You can see the little rings just forming on their own so awesomely. Cool. And let's see, I wanted blue, but you know what I'm gonna have to do, folks, is I'm gonna need more white. So that's no trouble. This is not like doing our resin. We don't have to wait, you know, on it to, uh, you know, get rid of bubbles and all that good stuff. Okay, I think we need to replenish the white. And I put my floor trowel. And I still have my, oops, I still have my little popsicle stick with no other colors on it. That's amazing. I usually get stuff everywhere. Okay, I need to grab I think two more cups. Well, so we grabbed three. I don't think we're not gonna need three. Okay, I'm kinda talking to myself and I'm supposed to be talking to you guys. Does anybody else do that? You talk to yourself and like, you know, sometimes I can, you can work out something huh, in your head. Okay, I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna do this just smaller since we're running out of space on the canvas here. I'm gonna do a little smaller one. We're gonna go with this corner, obviously. And we're gonna start, whoops. You know, that's another thing. Again, I don't have the steadiest hands. Try, try, try to keep your hands steady. You see, I, I just let that, let it blob out a little too much right there in the beginning, but kind of back off a little bit and just try to stay in the center. And you can see those real cool little rings just forming, forming. And Now, the big decision is, do I put something in the middle? Do I leave it? I think we're gonna leave it. Actually, I think I'm going to expand on this one just a little more. Maybe so it'll even up about the same size as our other one over here. Now this will be, oops, this will be a good trick to see if I can you know, get that to flow in and keep that look that we have going on there. That's gonna be fun. But, us, you know, you don't know until you try something, right? Uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas, and I do have it elevated on my um, little push pins or thumbtacks, just so your paint can flow easily off the edges, because you do see we have some places flowing along there. Now, let's hope and pray here. Okay, you know, that did not do much damage there. I don't think. Okay, it's not the exact size, but you know what? I think that's kind of cool, interesting, different. Now that what I'm seeing here, I don't know if you could tell in this one, I just kept seeing them pop up. Little cells just started popping up out of nowhere. I, I, did, I don't have any uh, silicone in it. It's just the, the additive and the acrylic paint. And um, it's popped up these cool little cells in here, which I think look pretty cool. Um, I, could, I don't want to manipulate this because if we do, 
we're gonna run our colors all together and that will that will totally create something that you know wasn't going for on this particular time still trying to decide if I want something in the middle darn I wish you guys could talk to me and tell me leave it or l do it anyway hey give me your opinion on that we'll do another one there we have it we have our little ring pour um, with many not many many but tiny ish rings hey guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this and give it a try hey thanks for watching this video tutorial today and i, I hope you will want to give this a little try this was uh it was fun i didn't know exactly what it was going to turn out like uh it, it was pretty interesting and again you can do any variation of this that you want to you could do one big obviously one big ring and just keep the same exact uh, uh, technique that I was using there or you can do multiple ones you could even do smaller ones here and there or do one big one I've you know big one and tiny ones around it whatever there is no right or wrong we know art is subjective and the main reason that I'm doing this and that I want you to do this is to have fun just have fun and create something for yourself guys I hope you'll like share please leave me a comment and I hope you'll subscribe Whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal because you can do it. Thank you so much.